This is a demonstration of our Ethernet IP implementation. First we fire up RS Links, which is a network configuration tool from Alan Bradley. And you can see on the Ethernet network there's two C500s running Ethernet IP. So we'll connect to 75. We can actually upload the EDS file from the C500, so there's no need to supply a, a file separately. It's stored on the device and can be installed directly using the software. Now that that's done we can fire up Studio 5000 which is the PLC programming tool. Um, create a new project and we'll select the PLC that I'm testing with. We have zero additional modules on this PLC and we'll just give it a comment. This is all running in a virtual machine so it's a little bit slow. So this is the programming environment for the PLC I'm testing with. So we'll add a module to this network on the Ethernet connection. And because we previously installed that EDS file, we can simply search for C500 and add that module. We need to give it a name, so we'll call it C500 and the serial number of the indicator. Give it its IP address on our network, so the PLC knows where to find it. And now we select from the assemblies um, that are available. So we've got a number of assemblies. Um, these are all documented in the manual if you want to look at the detail. But um, for now we'll look at primary units, simple weight and status. So now we'll have a look at the data available using that assembly. So we're offline at the moment, but you can see the, the uh, various data available in that assembly. So now we'll go online, as in bring the PLC online. We'll get a warning here that um, the program currently on the PLC doesn't match the program in my, my design environment. And we'll actually download the new program into the PLC. So the terminology is a little backwards. Everything's from the point of view of the PLC. We can see the displayed weight. I'm just um, playing around with the simulator at the moment. And we can see that if I zero the device, um, the center of zero and zero band bits are set. Now I've got a, uh, a small HMI as well. Um, it's one of the cheaper HMIs from Alan Bradley, so it's actually programmed using this Connected Components Workbench, which is a separate piece of software. So I previously set up a project um, just to display the weight and a small, uh, small gauge as well. But I'll show you how that's configured. So first we add a PLC. Um, basically declaring a PLC on the network at that IP address. We then need to add a tag, and this is a tag that matches the tag name on the PLC itself. So basically, once our 
um, weight data is available to the PLC, it's available to any other devices on the Ethernet IP network. Um, and you'll see that the, the naming matches exactly, and that's how it's found. So on our screen we've just got numeric display, um, you can see it's linked to that tag, and also an analog gauge, and you can set a minimum, maximum, um, configure the gauge, but it's linked to that same tag. So we download that program to the HMI. Again, the terminology is from the point of view of the HMI. It's all a bit backwards. see that running on the HMI so that's reading the displayed weight directly from the C500 I think in this example we're updating it 5 Hertz so we also have an assembly called Ring Command Execute which allows you to access our full um, Ring Command protocol We want to read the displayed weight. We set register 26, command 11, and there we can see the displayed weight. We'll reset the command. We can also read, say, the serial number. So register 5, again, command 11, and there's the serial number of the indicator. So we can also select multiple assemblies at the same time, so for the purpose of testing here it's useful to be able to see um, see the weight while we're exercising the ring command execute. So you see our displayed weight's currently at 50, so if we want to perform a zero we can set register 300, uh, command 10 to execute that and our weight 0, 0 band, center of 0 is set. So a couple of other assemblies we have available, this is the primary unit's full weight and status. And this is the system status. So hopefully this demonstrates how well the C500 integrates into the Allen Bradley world. I think it's going to be a really solid product for us.